What's going on guys? It's Ashi and I'm back. I God, I I, I hate starting a commentary like that cuz I've said it before and I, I keep disappearing. I know, I know. I keep disappearing. Uh I took a little break. I've been sick in the last um the last week really and then uh, just before that Jane was, you know, moving to Toronto and stuff like that. And I, I didn't really want to do any live stream. I just wanted to spend time with her. Before she moved to Toronto, she's actually gone to Toronto for school for six months, uh, and that's about mm, four and a half, five hours away from me uh, by bus. Um, by car, you go a little bit faster because you can break the law in Ottawa or in Canada, I should say. But <laughs> yeah, she's uh, she's moved to Toronto, so I have I have some free time to do some commentaries and stuff like that, and I haven't really I I've, I, I've been meaning. I've been meaning to do this commentary for a while, and I've been meaning to do more videos for a really long time. I've been into the whole live streaming thing. Uh, I've been streaming a hell of a lot. Uh, not in the last couple weeks, though, uh, just because I've been working with Machinima to get myself onto Twitch. Uh, as you guys know, if you watched my live streams, I always bitch about it and everything like that. But I was locked into YouTube live streaming only i could go nowhere else i wasn't allowed on own tv i wasn't allowed anywhere else i wasn't allowed on twitch or anything like that i was only allowed on youtube live streaming or else uh if they found out i guess they'd i don't know cancel my partnership with uh youtube entirely or bring me to court or something like that i've heard horrible stories uh but i've worked with them and there's another contract that i've signed i can live stream on youtube but now I am able to live stream on Twitch, which is amazing. It's amazing. And I, I won't be on YouTube anymore because Twitch is amazing. Everything about it when it comes to the, the chat, to its service. Uh, the only thing that I, I guess I kind of am upset about is the fact that it's not on the YouTube homepage. Now, with the YouTube live streaming, there, there's good things about both, I guess. I mean, like, what YouTube has down is, you know, everything's on YouTube. All the videos, the gaming content is already on YouTube. Everyone's already on YouTube. When it comes to Twitch, no one goes there unless they've, they're really bored and they want to look at some live streams and stuff like that. And they happen, maybe, to see my name or anything like that. Or they got a, a notification that one of the person one of the people they're following is streaming and YouTube has some of those kind of features already uh, but YouTube doesn't really have things like chat uh, really worked out it's not really a great chat uh, it's really really buggy sometimes when it's processing into uh, the VOD uh, I've had this like pink screen come up sometimes it only processed to 240p even though we're streaming at 720 ridiculous stuff like that that kind of need to be worked out and a lot of features they've been talking about they've been talking about it for like a year and it hasn't come down the pipeline or anything like that uh, sometimes I get emails from the guys at Machinima and they're like okay this is what we're working on with YouTube blah 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 it's not coming out until Christmas and I'm like what do you mean it's not coming out until Christmas they're like talking about better chat and better encoding and also I'm not able to technically I'll, uh, you know, every time if you watch the stream on YouTube, it would say 360p, even though I was streaming at 720. It was a 720 bit rate stream. Um, but I had to sign up for advanced features with YouTube and sign another contract through Machinima, blah, 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 probably locking myself in to get you the ability to go 360p, 720p. And it's the same thing on Twitch. Uh, but just overall, Twitch is way, way, way better so i will not be on youtube anymore when it comes to live streaming i'll only be on twitch it's twitchtv.com slash ashrickle same name as my youtube same name as my twitter same name as my facebook uh go follow me there you'll get a notification when i'm live streaming and that that's how i'm going to be doing it if i do um ever gain really much of a following more on youtube um, where my viewer base, you know, watches my videos within the first hour. Because right now, when I upload a video, when any small channel really uploads a video, most of their views come after the fact 
um, after the first day or whatever, you know, within the first week, that's where the majority of the views come in. When you first upload your video, you get like 20 views in the first like half an hour, 30 views in the first 40 minutes, you know, maybe 100 views within the first like couple hours or something like that. So if I was to upload, say, oh, I'm live streaming on Twitch right now, 15 second video, you know, like 20 of you are going to see it or something like that. Uh, I, I don't know how many of you, you know, actually go to the subscriber box. A lot of people, you know, put me on a view list or a watch later list or whatever it is. And then they watch me later. So maybe, I, I don't know. I, I don't know if I'm going to do it yet. You'll see it pop in the sub box. And if you do, I hope you click on it and join me on Twitch. Um, plans for the channel. I'm going to be getting much more serious about YouTube, getting much more structured, I'd say, more or less. Um, I have been lacking in content. I have been. Probably since April. Probably since then. I haven't really done much. I haven't really done anything. Uh, my last commentary was telling you guys how I really disliked. I think my words were hate be a free. And <laughs> this is just some PC... Uh, Operation Metro clips kind of like all the same game, but it was like it was a thousand ticket server This is the only server I could fucking find. This is it. This is it from the entire night This is the closest thing I could find to a low ticket server, and it was like 600 something uh, Which is ridiculous and Xbox got its problems, you know Xbox is kind of like It's kind of like the the shareware version of be free you could say but at the same time not a lot of this shit goes on. Like, every single fucking server is either learn how to fly, fly maps only, thousand ticket Caspian border. I don't want to fucking play thousand ticket Caspian border. Like, I, I can't believe after... Uh, how long has this game been out? A year now? A year? They, they still force Origin and Battle Log down your fucking throat, and they still won't put in a fucking ticket filter. I can't fucking believe it, and I'm so mad at it. And I used to always laugh at the people on PC going, There's no ticket filter, blah, 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 because I didn't have that problem on Xbox. One, there was no thousand ticket servers at first until the, the, the server renting thing came, and then everyone with the one-day server had an Operation Metro 24-7 server, even though they only had a one-day server. So technically, it was only 24 hours, not 24-7. <laughs> but we never really had that problem, so I always laugh at them. But now I feel for them. I feel, oh, I hate it. I hate it so much. Uh, so yeah, PC's got its problems. Xbox has its problems. But uh, over the two, I'd probably pick PC. I think I still would. I went back and I played some armor kill because I do have premium on... Um, on BF3 uh, Xbox. By the way, guys, you only if you have uh, a PS3 and Xbox and a PS3, or sorry, a PS3 and Xbox and a PC. If you buy premium on one, you only have premium on one. That's it. You don't get premium on your PC. That's right. I I have to pay for it twice. I have to pay for it premium twice. I have to buy. Two separate games, and I have to buy two separate premiums, even though it's on the same battle log, on the same Origin account. It's ridiculous. It's absolutely ridiculous. Um, I, I couldn't, I couldn't even believe it uh, when uh, Battlefield, uh, Battlefield's Twitter told me that. I couldn't, I couldn't even believe it. It's such a money grab, and it's totally not Dice's fault. That's totally EA. EA is all about the the marketing, the the money. Um, the DLC pricing, any anything pricing money related, it's all the publisher guys. So that's really that's really EA uh, taking a, a money grab. Really, it really 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 sucks because I, I really have to buy premium twice now. Uh, I didn't really get to play Armored Kill. I want to see how Armored Kill is on the PC. I got to play a couple games uh, with some subscribers. I actually went on on the Xbox and played it. Uh, I had some time all alone to play it, and it was um, it was so hard playing it because of the lower resolution. It was so hard because here I'm playing uh, 1920 by 1080, and then on Xbox it's somewhere even lower than uh, it, it's lower than 720p. It's it's ridiculous. It's such a change. It's like on PC you kind of have to be really really accurate, but every, nothing's blurry, and you have to be you know pinpoint accurate. On Xbox with you know aim assist and everything like that I felt like I was fighting with the aim assist 
I was fighting with the aim assist uh, to actually get on target because I with PC now I'm really pinpoint. <coughs> Sorry, and um, everything was blurry to me because I was playing on a 42 inch plasma, which is great. The picture's great. But then it's like in this really shitty resolution and I can't really see anything and everything like far away is really blurry and I was like Sorry guys, I'm still sick <coughs> And I couldn't see What I was doing <coughs> I'm dying right now. Hold on. I'll be right back. All right. I'm back. I had to go cough up a lung there I've been sick for the past week uh, Almost week and a half now with a really, really bad flu that everyone got, including Jane. Poor, poor Jane. Um, but, yeah, I just went and coughed up a lung. That was horrible. <laughs> I was tearing up and everything. But, uh, yeah, PC, Xbox 360. I can't really choose one or the other. I guess I lean more towards PC just because of how much of a better game it is. It's a lot, you know, it's a lot more for your buck. Uh, I, I'm almost sad that they sold the Xbox 360 version f for how much they did. And the fact that I have to buy premium twice, all that kind of shit just pisses me off. But I plan on putting out more serious content, more structured content, um, a lot more focusing on YouTube. I'm also going to be doing the live streaming. Now I'm going to be talking about that in the upcoming uh, days. Uh, I'm gonna be doing a lot more of that. You're gonna see a lot more content from you guys. Um, new games coming in the future. Uh, new Let's Plays. I'm thinking about Borderlands 2. Uh, I'm thinking about doing it with Jane. It would have to be on Xbox. And I'd have to somehow figure out how I'm gonna do that with her. And I'm not too sure. I, I, maybe, maybe I'll bring up, or maybe she can bring down the Xbox. And then we'll record it. Uh, I, I don't know how we're going to do it. I want to do it with Jane if I do Borderlands 2. I know a lot of you guys have been on Twitter and talking to me about Borderlands 2. Uh, Jane's absolutely, you know, loving Borderlands. And I definitely want to get into it. Uh, also, Halo 4 content. Uh, thinking about doing a Let's Play. And also, Medal of Honor Warfighter. Uh, I'm going to be pre-ordering that for sure for Battlefield 4 beta. Not really, you know, excited about the Battlefield 4 but um, was more leaning towards Battlefield 3. Uh, sorry, Battlefield Bad Company 3. But, you know, whatever. Anyways, guys, check me out on Twitch. Check me out on Facebook and Twitter. I'll see you guys later. Peace.